Hi Gemini, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors. Welcome to the channels, darling. Um, just, oh gosh, two announcements to make. One is I am going to continue with the fortnightly reads for a little while longer. Um, I'm finding it much more easier to do the readings while I'm um, still recovering from the early part of the year. Um, so... Yeah, I will be making an announcement who's going to go weekly, who's going to go fortnightly and who's going to go monthly. Um, haven't quite made up my mind yet but there are going to be some changes to the channel. Um, so the other thing is I've launched a second channel which is slightly different to Angels and Ancestors and I wasn't sure that angels and ancestors could carry the type of reading that I want to do on the new channel. It's called Gorgeous Souls Tarot. Um, it launched on the 1st of June and it looks at your innermost um, desires and wants, things that you may not freely or openly share with the world or other people unless you are in an intimate relationship. Um, and even then it could be a little bit iffy. So, Dines, pop over and have a look. I have put the link on the community page um, for you to see uh, some of the videos that are going up. I am not taking that many for the second week for Gemini, please. For the second week for Gemini. Yeah, just pop over and have a look, see what you think and leave me some feedback. That would be really good if you could. Thank you very much. So let's get on with your what the fuck reading for the 7th through to the 20th of June. Thank you. It took a bit of time to come out, didn't I? Okay, so your first week, darlings, you have got beyond the ordinary. Something surprising is going to happen for you and it's going to open up some options. Time machine. You may get some deja vu going on around you. Perhaps you have visited these things before and maybe not even in this lifetime. And then you have got close encounters. Oh, I've just heard spirit. Um, so you may be getting some close encounters around you. Let's just move that over because I don't want that to catch fire. Um, there may be some close encounters around you. Um, it could be something quite extraordinary. Um, and it could be something from your past. So... Just hold on to that. So the first week looks like it's going to be very interesting for you, Gemini, indeed. Lovelies, you have got wish. Of, I love this card. Wish upon a star. Look at that child's face and how she's clasping her heart space. Um, and the star that she's got in her hand. Um, do you remember making wishes like that? Do you actually remember... Just standing there going, I wish, I wish, I wish. I do, and I'm much older than most. Um, yeah, I'm kind of getting wishing upon a star. You may be getting some manifesting that you've been doing for a long time coming through to you, the call of the muse. Um, darlings, you are going to be somebody. If you're not your own inspiration, you're definitely going to be somebody else's. This is... Um, the ease of dancing around something that may have been difficult. Um, let's put them like that. That's better. Um, you find it easy to dance around things. You find it easy to um, navigate things. And the call of the muse is either you are being called 
to inspire somebody or you are going to call somebody in to inspire you my lovelies so let's get on with your what the fuck reading and we're going to start with your current energy what started the what the fuck for gemini Seventh to the twentieth of June. What started the what the fuck for Gemini? And then my darlings, facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Manifestation and wish fulfillment for Gemini, please. Oh, that really meant it. Movement, journey, where the fuck they need to be. Oh, I don't think you need to be there. We'll have a look at that later. Um, yeah. What you can do about this situation. Reconnecting to your true self and there's a bit of a story around your outcome darlings um gemini you've got the eight of chalices love you're a bit betwixt and between lovelies you haven't quite sussed which way you want to go out on a quest and before you've even started you found a fork in the road and now you're contemplating which fork to take. Your chalices are in the upright. They've all got your back. They're all saying to you, yeah, go for it. Just go for it. Whatever it is you want to do, we've got your back. And the sun is saying, yes, this is right for you. All you now need to do is, instead of scratching your chin, is make that um, decision to move forward. Um, facing your fears and taking your power back. You have got the Three of Pentacles. This is the collaboration card. This is the tutor becoming the pupil, the pupil becoming the tutor. It could be surprising information from surprising sources. It may be somebody younger than you that's got really old head on their shoulders and what they're saying makes sense. Or it could be somebody much older than you that have been saying the same thing day in, day out, and then all of a sudden the penny drops. You go, oh, that's what it means. Um... You are going to get what you want, darlings, but I'm kind of getting that for you. Maybe you're stepping out of one um, cycle into another, and it may be that you've been the pupil, and now you wish to step into being the tutor, and it seems to be an enormous step. Um, but by the same token, there's going to be some of you that have been the tutor and you may have decided to go back to being a pupil again um whichever way it is for you just keep in mind that it's small steps so if you are thinking of stepping out of pupil mode into teaching mode um ask your current teacher if you can do some little workshops for them to get a taster of what it's like not everybody's cut out to stand in front of people and talk openly. That it will give you a taster of what it would be like. Um, if it's the other way around, you just need to decide what course it is that you want to take. I'm getting that if you are the pupil stepping into the teacher, it would be a difficult choice to take. But teach what you know. Teach what you know. And I am getting that this is highly spiritual with that first week um not and and into the second week it's almost like it's a dream come true uh, because you you've had the call and you are responding to that but yeah just just it's it's down to you to make that first step into what it is that you want and you really do 
want to step into the mode of being the craftsman um, mastering the craft so that you can move forward this is the seven of pentacles is seven options seven blessings um, you can have more you can just work on one you can work on them all it's up to you um, but just know that when you're manifesting something like that that you really want to move yourself forward um, and then strive to the eight which is the master craftsman um, there's some work to be put in here and I'm getting that you really want to do it, and but you, I'm getting that you just don't know which way to go with this. So darlings, what I'm going to give you is a little bit of advice. If you are in doubt about something, do nothing until you get a download that it's the right thing for you. And like I say, if you are the pupil becoming the tutor and you don't know, ask, their, ask a tutor if you can do some work alongside them or for them, to, just to get a taste of what it's like. And if you're stepping back out of teaching mode into the pupil mode, please be careful not to tread on people's toes when you are learning. Um, even if you know a lot about what you are learning, um, there is always a degree of something that maybe you missed before that you can actually tap into. But know that with your manifestation, this is around career, it's around family life. So this whole thing could be that you're trying to bring in work-life balance um, and it's a difficult one it is a difficult one okay so your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you've got the nine of a thames now darlings normally with the nine of a is i would be pretty worried about people but because you're an air sign you kind of get this you do need time to run and hide, Gemini, you do, we all do, all air signs do. I'm Libra with Gemini rising, I understand this completely, that you need time to run and hide. But then there's a time when you need to let the universe come in and show you the way, let the moon illuminate for you what it is that you need to see in order for you to be able to move forward, If in order for you to complete this cycle. Um... I'm not, I'm getting, it's as not as bad as you think it is. As air signs, we naturally over-process the whole time. We kind of get the thought in our heads. We need to process that thought. And then we need answers about that thought. And then we need answers about the answers, about the answers, about the answers. And so it goes on. And sometimes when we run and hide in our heads, it's not the safest place to be. It's much easier to go and run and hide from the whole world go for a walk in the woods, go down the beach at four o'clock in the morning, whatever it is that gets you out of that whole um, process of just sitting within your headspace and trying to make head or tails or something. If in doubt, do now, don't do it. Go and run and hide by all means. Go and get into your bed, cover yourself over, whatever it takes. But know that there is a time where you're going to have to have an emergence and allow the universe in to help you do what it is that you need to do in order to move forward. So what you, oh gosh, really? So what you've got for what you can do about the situation, don't be aware really aware that there's a lot of egos around you i'm not getting that you've got a massive ego but i am getting that there are people around you that have you may have a lot of fire energy around you a lot of people that think that they know how a project or a plan should go and you're just sitting back looking thinking processing it and you're thinking you're a bunch of bloody idiots basically this is not this is not how this is supposed to be. And I'm kind of getting that it's emotive for you with your eight of chalices. And it may be that this is the reason that you've got a little bit stuck with it. Because you have got these energies around you. So the other thing that they're asking you to do is not just be aware of the energies. But they're asking you to go back to basics with the page of pentacles. This is an apprenticeship. This is learning something. This is adding to your already well-equipped toolkit and it may be that you need to learn how to handle these energies, that you need to learn to handle these um, fiery people that seem to have all the bloody answers but do nothing, basically. They're, 
they're just these type of people that they've got the magic they can make magic they can make mischief they can do really good things they can do really awful things but right now they're standing in their ego and i'm not talking about the ego that gets you out of bed in the morning or go after the new job i'm talking about inflated ego where these people um they're not really listening to each other so they're not listening to you so you need to learn how to handle it it will feel a little bit like an apprenticeship um because you may be really experienced in handling people but if you've got that many egos around you you need to tackle it from a different um angle look at it from a different perspective so darlings what is out of your hands for this fortnight you have got the idea you card. That's what I've started to call the nine of wands. I know people sort of go, oh, it's overprotective. But it's almost like you slap your hands on the desk like, I dare you. I dare you to do. I dare you to put a foot out of turn. I dare you to tell people about my projects and plans. I just dare. I dare you to come within my energy. Um, it's out of your hands because they want you to learn to handle the fire energy they don't want you to front it out they want you to literally handle it properly you're going to have time to go and heal and think about it but you have got to learn how to handle this rather than front it out and go i dare you i dare you to do it that's not what that that's not the the, the lesson that they want you to learn um, right at this moment in time so reconnecting to your true self you have the nine of pentacles you have got three nines out on the table so far you have got one where you want to run and hide one where you want to say i dare you dare you i dare you and then you've got this nine of pentacles which is much nicer for you gemini it's a wish fulfillment the bills are being paid, you've got a roof over your head, there's food on the table, the kids are happy, you're in a really good position. This is your wish fulfillment, you are well on your way to your ten of pentacles, my lovelies, which is your ultimate outcome, that's work-life balance, that's the, all the bills are being paid, there's extras left over, the families, all generations are coming together to work with each other, you are well on your way to getting that. Um, lovelies what the fuck is happening next you've got the high priestess you are going to stand in this priestess priestess mode and you are going to show these people how it's done this is the lesson that i'm getting for you you are going to show them how it's done they don't need a recipe book they just need their intuition um and you are going to allow this beautiful moon to illuminate a beautiful way forward for you um, which is going to allow you to address this energy as the Queen of Wands. Best friend, um, somebody who will talk things over, somebody who is passionate about projects and plans, but they also know what they want, they go and get it. So at the end of the day, what you want is for everybody to work together to get these projects and plans up and running and you are going to be the leader around this you are and let me tell you i have to say this and it did chuckle when i first had this as a download but i see this queen with this wand she can make magic she can make mischief but let me tell you she doesn't take prisoners she can be your best friend and i get that that's the energy that they're asking you to step into to deal with these people um but she can also if you don't toe the line she will bibbity bobbity boo your ass with that wand i swear to god um and that's the energy they want you to step into and if you do that if you follow what the universe is saying to you gemini you will see the end of a difficult cycle and the beginning of something that is much better for you with the will of the year it's almost like you're treading on eggshells at the moment that will come to an end once you take charge and you let people see that you know what you're doing you know what you're saying you know about what this project is about and i'm still not getting an essence of the project but i am getting an essence that through all of this you have found 
what it is that you are self-limiting on, what you're self-restricting on, and you so want to release that, um, it's easy to do, darling. Just get up and walk away. Release that trap and just go. Go and dance. Go and play with the bear. Whatever. Um, just now you've identified your restrictions. Do something about it. So, lovelies, I'm not surprised by this card. Perspective, the Oak King. Um, this is what is going to be revealed to you is that you need to get a different perspective. Um, it's not one of those. These people are not in their heads like you, darling. They're not. They're a fire sign. They are reactive. They will not think things through. They will act and then think afterwards. You are the complete polar opposite of that kind of energy. And you like to think things through, to plan things, to get things laid down onto a piece of paper so you can see each and every step that you want to take. These people are not like that. They are on the hop. They are literally making split decisions in a split second. And you're like, whoa, hold on, hold on a minute. What are you doing? Okay, I'm taking charge as the priestess and the queen of wands. I'm taking charge. We can make magic here, but you need to slow down a bit. So let's get the whispering woods and ask them for week one. Oh, and week two, please. So on week one, lovelies, you've got growth and you've got the taller oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. Adventure, live wild and free. Time. Embrace the dewdrops of life before they disappear with the morning dew. The night. Find comfort in the night where the world switches off and the stars burn bright. Do you know what? I was just looking at all the stars you've got in each of these cards and that is so relevant to your energy, that the energy you want to be putting out there. Week two path wander on the path less less traveled what you find may surprise you so let's just ask the angels and ancestors for some knowledge wisdom and guidance for week one and now for week two. Oh, and they're on the floor of course they are And anything else for Gemini, please. Thank you. Okay, lovely. So week one. You've got summer. Bask in joy and light. You've got the Lord. Take charge with authority. How mad is that? Wow, that is so indicative of this outcome. Absolutely. So then you have the hunter the following week the second week track down your fears and desires and that week it's saying peacekeeper let go of the need to be right because the other bit you need to know it is more important for you at this time to be the light and show the way through example through being that person that is going to lead a team through a project well i i have to say gemini i've never had a project reading before i've had career readings obviously but this is definitely some sort of project that is massively going to rely on you to get this right and i do feel the pressure from this i do but don't forget about the Beyond the Ordinary, the Time Machine and the Close Encounters. Lovely, that is vitally important for you. Week one and in week two, things will come in and seem so much easier for you. Gemini, wherever you are in the world, lovelies, 
please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.